I'm Stacy Teicher Kataru, a reporter for the Christian Science Monitor. I'd like you to hear directly from a man I met while reporting on the Father's Support Center in St. Louis, Missouri. After being incarcerated, William wanted to reconnect with his children, but it wasn't easy. His own father hadn't been involved in raising him, so he had a lot to learn. What makes for a good parent? How could he better communicate with the mothers of his children? How could he get a better job and form strong family bonds? The Father's Support Center helped him on that journey. My name is William Howard Lee Jr. Um, I'm 37 in age. I have um, three children, two of them are by the same woman. Uh, one is by a different woman. Um, I had them all, but uh, when I got incarcerated, they chose not to bring them. Uh, Jalen's mother, she brought them a couple of times, and you know she was kind of jealous of our uh, interaction with each other. My son just loves me to the point whenever he see me, he'll just run and just jump. Like, he knew his father was going to catch him. He knew that his father loved him, and it used to make me feel so good, especially in a, a very dim place that I was in in my life at that time. And when I used to see him, he used to she just make me so happy. And, you know, uh, she kept him away from me for the remaining time that I was with her. She would pop in and out, so... When I came home, I just really missed them, and I was trying to get back on my feet and make sure that I can be the right parent that I can possibly be. And, you know, when I heard about the father support, it just really helped me out. It really did. We have had gaps within our life, uh, dealing with mistakes I have made, um, dealing with uh, bad co-parenting skills on both parties. Um, but I mainly take full responsibility for that because of my actions and involvement with, you know, the relationship I had with her mother that kind of made her act in a way that she wanted to keep my children away from me. I, we could never get communication together. It was never something that we can actually just sit down and talk, but being her, they taught me how to not really bite my tongue, but use a different set of words, use a different uh, approach to the situation, hear the person out, let them talk. Um, and I feel like she appreciates that. So therefore, it don't my me coming and talking to her don't get met with anger and hostility now. It, it, it get met, met with an open mind. It get met with, with peace, you know, patience. I want to break a generational curse and show my children how to be more productive as a father and play the father role the way that they're supposed to. Um, you know, we all try to parent the best that we can, but, you know, we don't always have the answers and we don't always have the right guidelines to start with. It's a big stress reliever just knowing that this place her has actually helped me in a way to where they put money in my pocket. They taught me how to conduct myself in the ways where I was lagging at. Uh, they showed me love. They, they, they took out time. They had patience. They, they tried to understand me no matter what it is. Uh, even, even when it was things that I thought that's all I needed, and I'm still trying to get to a certain point in my life. I'm working very hard to do so, and I have a, a support team. It's father support. They are actually here for me. Uh, they have been here for me. Even after my class, they still help me. They still show concern. They still be uh, involved. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to read the whole story, you can find it at csmonitor.com slash equal ed. This audio was produced by the Christian Science Monitor, copyright 2018.